Hello everyone. In this lecture, I'm going to discuss with you the Laplace transforms. Before uh, we talk about the formulas and how we can apply it, let's see the definition. Now, Laplace transformation of any function, for that we need a function. So here, the function is denoted by this ft. So it is function of t variable and it is defined for all positive value of t. And we can denote the Laplace transformation of function by this capital L times f of t. So it is a notation, capital L of ft. And how it is defined, the Laplace transformation of any function of t is an integration. And this integration is from 0 to infinity. This function we write here. And integration we do with e to the power minus st. So you will find out that here with function every time e to the power minus st will be there. Only function, different function will give us different Laplace transformation. And notation wise, when you do a Laplace transformation of any function, the output that is the Laplace form is function of this parameter s here. So whether it is s or it is omega, you will call it like that. For example, if someone some of you will use it like e to the power minus omega t and you are writing f of t dt. In that case, the answer will be function of omega. This is just a parameter. If your parameter is written in terms of s, all the result will come in terms of s. If the parameter here we are using this omega, it will come it as a omega. So I am going to talk about this whole uh, Laplace transformation in terms of S. So if you are using in terms of this omega, you can replace wherever there is S by omega. Now let's find out the Laplace transformation of some elementary functions because uh, these functions comes frequently in Laplace transformation. So I am going to discuss few of them with the help of definition so that you can understand that why uh, we use this formulas. So let's start with the first one that Laplace transformation of 1 I have written here is 1 by s. Let's see how. Now as per definition Laplace transformation of any function is equals to e to the power e, e, e to the power minus st f of t a 0 to infinity. Now if your function is 1 so here in place of ft I write 1 and we have a integration of e to the power minus st only. Now what is integration of exponential function? With respect to t it is integration. So e to the power minus st is minus s is the coefficient. And we can write down this minus s. And when we apply in limit because s is here we consider that s is positive. Now if s is positive so when you plug in the value of infinity anything with e to the power minus infinity will tends to 0 and uh, e to the power 0 will goes 1 and we get 1 by s. So we got the one formula that wherever there is Laplace transformation of 1 we can write on 1 by s. Now let's see the second Laplace transformation of a polynomial means t to the power of number. Now it is n factorial s to the power n plus 1 or the gamma function. Now as per definition uh, the function is t to the power n. So here with e to the power minus st we multiply this t to the power n. Now in substitution uh, and after simplification we got this expression because t is equals to p upon s. So this will also replace and d, dt can be replaced by dp by s and all the s comes out to be common because it is integration with respect to p. Now this integral is a special kind of integral and this expression is known as gamma function. Now let me quickly tell you what is a gamma function. If gamma of, we are finding of any number, if gamma, this is a notation for gamma function. If you are finding gamma of any number, it is integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus s x, x to the power this one number less to this gamma so n minus 1 dx so if we are writing 5 here this will be 4 if you are writing 10 here it will be 9 if it is 50 it is 49 so whatever is a number this is 1 less so if you are writing n plus 1 it is n so we are observing here uh, this in place of all x we are having a variable p and this is exactly 
the expression of gamma function and this integral can be replaced as gamma of n plus 1 because n in this side it is 1 more so i got gamma of n plus 1 s to the power n plus 1 now gamma function can have a substitution of factorial if it is a integer positive integer wherein you can write down gamma of n plus 1 equals to n into this is one of the formula in the topic of gamma functions so we can keep on reducing it till we get 1 so when you see that n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 till 1 is nothing but it is a n factorial so we got a two presentation of this laplace transformation of uh, c to the power n whatever is the n here you write on if it is n is positive number we can write on the factorial or we can use the this notation gamma of n plus 1 now let's see the third one uh, it is exponential function so in the exponential function we can see that here that both are the same like function we can compile it and it become a s minus a as a coefficient and this is a single function and integration of e to the power we know it is divided by the coefficient and after applying the limit we got 1 upon s minus a so here we get a plus of s minus a or again i am i have already discussed in the beginning s is a parameter s per definition whatever parameter we are using we get the laplace transformation in that and when we see that sine function and here we can see with the help of definition now i think you all have gotten an idea that all these standard function is driven these answers formulas are driven from the definition and we are not going to use it by integration we can commit to the memory and wherever we see the function and we want to find the laplace transformation we can directly use this expression so here e to the power a t sin b t formula is there and you, can, you know in the integration these formulas are standard one and after applying the limits you get this a upon s square plus a square and in the hyperbolic function also because uh, this is s when we see sine with h it is a hyperbolic function and hyperbolic function has a substitution of exponent that we can write down for sine it is minus and if it is a cosh you can write a plus and we can compile the two expression as a two integral and after simplification we get a upon s square minus a square so i think uh, with the few uh, usage of definition you all have gotten an idea that how these formulas derived with the help of definition i want quickly let us see uh, to apply it now one by one let's see one by one with the help of example if i want what is a laplace transformation of constant i know laplace transformation of one is let's see that formula laplace transformation of one is one by s laplace transformation of five is five by s now let's see the second example what is a laplace transformation e to the power 2t here 2 is my constant now let's see the formula what is laplace transformation of e to the power a if it is a we write on 1 upon s minus a so in place of a i am having here 2 so answer will be 1 upon s minus 2 so a t formula is s minus a e to the power 1 minus 3 t will be s plus 3 because a is formula is laplace transformation of e to the power a t is 1 upon s minus a so whatever is a value just plug in and get the formula now come to the next use what is the laplace transformation of t to the power n so here if n is positive we can use a factorial so it is n factorial laplace transformation of t to the power n is n factorial s to the power n plus 1 now what is n here 2 n is 2 here so it is 2 factorial upon s to the power 3 so answer is 2 upon s cube and if your laplace transformation is t to the power cube it is 3 factorial upon s4 t to the power 10 10 factorial upon s to the power 11 power of s is one more now what about the laplace transformation of sine function in case of sine we have a 
a upon s square plus a square and cos we have a s upon s square plus a square so let's see how we can apply here so laplace transformation of sine of a t is a upon s square plus a square so what is a here 5 is a here so 5 upon s square plus 25 what is laplace transformation of cos of a t cos of a t is s upon s square plus a square so s upon s square plus square of 2 is 4 here now what is laplace transformation of cosh hyperbolic cosh see in case of sine we have a, a upon this positive trigonometric we have a plus and hyperbolic we have a minus with sine we have a constant with cos we have a parameter so let's see here so laplace transformation of cosh of a t is s upon s square minus a square so here it is s upon s square minus a square is 9 so 9 what about laplace transformation of sine hyperbolic of a t when there is a h it means it is a hyperbolic so when whenever we have seen trigonometric or hyperbolic the constant is 4 here so we have s square minus uh, it's a formula wise so a square what is a here 4 s square minus 16 i hope you have understood how to apply the elementary these are the direct use of the elementary functions so remember these formulas we can easily apply that now in the next lecture i'll discuss with you the properties and some more examples thank you